and I, we would go work on my dad. He was a carpenter, like Jesus. And he had a big Mexican bigote that I always wanted. You know, my dad, like a lot of undocumented workers, was proud of the work that he did, that he could build something from nothing. And I remember going to work with my dad, and he would always tell me, hey, mijo, get your hands out of your pocket. Y ponte a trabajar. My dad died five years ago without ever getting legal documentation. He got caught with drugs when he was 18 years old, an unforgiving crime. So he was always living in the shadows. I never got as good as my dad in carpentry. I could never grow that Mexican bigote. But I knew I wanted to build something. And I wanted to clap back at, at all those people that would talk about my dad as gangbangers, as criminals, as lazy. Lazy. I remember my dad, he used to tell me, hey, mijo, how long does it take for a Mexican to? Oh, they're done. See, my dad used to love to tell jokes, and stories, and histories, but those all went with him. There's a saying that when an elder dies, that a library is gone forever. I lost that chance to tell my dad's story, but he never let me put my head down, put my hands in my pocket. Hey, punto trabajar, my dad used to tell me. That's why I became a doctoral student at UCLA in the Chicano Chicano Studies Department. Because I didn't want anybody to tell that story about my dad, about who he was, where he came from, why he's here. I'm gonna tell that story. I mean, who's gonna write the stories about the lowriders, the swamis, the cucarachas, la bamba? Who's gonna write books about vegan tacos, churros, copal? Yeah, I said vegan tacos. And we gotta tell our own stories. And I realized that the world needs us to remind them that immigrants feel joy and pain, love and vergüenza and they sure as hell don't like living in cages. We gotta tell our stories, cause if we don't, somebody will. And you all have just been accepted to one of the most prestigious and respected universities in the galaxy. Your palabra will go far. So tell us a story that's never been told. Remember something that's been forgotten. Turn this story into her story, into our story. And we got enough walls. Build a bridge. It's not gonna be easy. But like my dad always told me, hey mijo, put that phone down. And let's get to work. No. 
Oakland, California, Black Panthers organized for answers. In New York, the young lords fought against wars. Stonewall Rebellion remained true for the rights of the LGBTQA. Damn with native rights, no shame in their game. In the campus of California, it was Filipinos who first laid down the boycott. East Sang Bak Sak, one rise, one fall. You come for one, you come for all. You come for one, you come for all. But see, today, Arizona and Alabama, they don't play. They carving out racist lives like it's made out of clay. I stand with Emmett, Trayvon, Oscar Bell, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and all those stories, yo, we can't forget to tell. Tell you I'd rather be blind than to stay quiet on the bed for my people to hunt like prey. Hunt like prey. Yo, so walk with me and let's rise with the sun. Pick up your heart, put down the gun. We be one, we be one.